trolling for loose change? <laughs> you got any? Maybe you should turn the other cheek. Listen, don't be a wiseacre. Would you help me look for my Aunt Phoebe's compact? Okay. Yes! That's it. Thank you. So tell me about the big wedding, huh? Just leave out all the mushy stuff. The mushy stuff? Mm -hmm. uh, I guess Jamie inherited the non-mush gene from you, huh? Probably. The good news is we both love to gossip. So don't tease me. Let me have the dish. Oh, the dish. Uh, well, actually, the wedding um, was very tame by Pine Valley standards. Nobody got hauled away in handcuffs. Nobody was left at the altar. And uh, there was a substitution, though. Really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Trevor stepped in for Axel, and he made Janet his lawful wedded wife. What a shock, huh? Yeah. The old bait and switch. I tell you, they, they look like they were two of the happiest people on this planet. Are you happy for them? Yes. Ecstatic. That's my girl. How do you do it? What? Lose yourself. In spite of everything the world throws at you, you step aside long enough to wish somebody else well. And the amazing thing is you mean it. You know what I figure? I figure Janet and Trevor went through so many roadblocks to get together. And they found their happy ending, so there's hope that there is one out there with my name on it. So seriously, hmm? how are you doing? You know, I don't think anyone has asked me that in, say, the last uh, ten minutes. I'm sorry, it's a bad habit. I can't help. I'm sorry. It's me. I really am sorry. I just, I don't want to think about it, all right? I don't want to think about the trial or the possible outcome. I'd rather think about, you know, wedding showers and weddings and whatever. It's a distraction. Well, don't look now, Cinderella, but the party's over. And everybody's gone. Hey, listen. Don't worry about me. Really. I'm fine. I'm fine. I know you are. You're Brooke English. You also happen to be the mother of my child and one of my dearest friends. And I love you very much. So I got a... I got an offer for you. <laughs> no, oh. seriously, how's this? No, you haven't even heard it yet. How about you let me run interference between you and the big bad world for a while, huh? Come on. How about you let me be your distraction? How am I doing? Well, that did nothing for your score, but wall spackling repair comes to about $29.95 plus tax. Eh, uh, so I'm a little rusty. Rusty? <laughs> yeah, you know, rusty as an unpracticed. Here, give me on Femi's antique... How do you open this thing? Compact. Here we go. Watch this. I'm yeah. going to show you some real dirt. Uh, wait, wait. This is wait, famous over wait, the mirror. Wait. What are you doing? Okay, shoot. Oh, you have little faith. You're such <laughs> a weasel. <laughs> Boy, that's really stunk. You know, you are as bad a shot as I am worse, actually. Yeah. So, darts isn't my game. <laughs> I'll have you know something, little Miss Sassafras. You were looking at the pin the tail on the donkey tri-state champion three years in a row, and it's the truth, so you better believe it. Well, who am I to challenge your amateur standing? Actually, it's such a dubious honor. It probably heralds years of sexual compulsion. Uh. But it's the truth. I was really, really good. As a matter of fact, I was so good in the neighborhood that kids wouldn't invite me to their birthday parties. Oh, you poor baby. Yeah, children can be so what cruel. What did you do? Mm. This is where the story gets really ugly. There was this little kid, this girl, lived across the street. She told me she would invite me to a birthday party if, when it came time to play Pin the Tail on the Donkey, I agreed to take a dive. <gasps> you didn't. Yes, it's true. I sold my soul for a goodie bag and a piece of Mary Jo Jablonski's birthday cake. This will be our secret. Mm. You know something? Did I tell you that Jamie plays horseshoes? Is, is this another Martin no, Mantle? No, 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 all kidding tale? aside, it's no joke. No? He's excellent. He and Junior have been practicing down at Pigeon Hollow. The kid's got an arm like Greg Maddox. You know, when I sent him to Dixie, I, I was afraid that he would be homesick, and then I, I was afraid that he, he wouldn't be. Never happened. Haven't you heard? The boy's best friend is his mother. You're probably the only thing he's never going to outgrow. What if I'm sent to prison? We'll deal with it, okay? The three of us will deal with it. When and if it happens, we'll deal with it. Oh. I guess I should return Aunt Phoebe's uh, antique compact. Why? She got a powder her nose at midnight? Maybe. <laughs>
No, I mean, no, I'm sure she's asleep. No, I'm sure she's asleep. However, I am not tired. Are you? I am so revved from that rousing I'm game of darts that you have. I'm not kidding. I don't want to go to bed. So what do you have in mind? Well, it just so happens they're, they got an all-night Marsh Brothers marathon over at the Criterion. Huh? What do you think? Everything from animal crackers to duck soup. I'll spring for the popcorn. Ladies, say the magic word. The duck comes down, gives you $100. Walk <laughs> this way. It's going to be this. Is it every right, line of dialogue repeated oh, that, by yeah, you? Oh, now you have to get People uh, moving away from us in the movie. Oh, wait, wait. Let's talk about the entire movie. Let's say every line before it happens on the screen. <laughs> 